Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've been looking at the multiply blend mode and how it takes the, each of the red, green and blue of the base layer underneath and the blend layer on top and multiplies each of the red, green and blue to get the final result. So what we can do with this is to do a few examples to show how this can be used in photo editing. So let's start off. The basic thing you can do is take the existing layer, control J to duplicate it, and then change the blend mode of the top one to multiply. And there you've got your darkened picture, which looks nice and it's a good way of coping with a picture which is a bit too light and it's quick and easy. And you can also then use the opacity as a kind of volume control to set the darkness or lightness you like. Another way of doing exactly the same thing is to use a adjustment, something like curves, whatever you like, it actually doesn't matter. And then set the blend mode there to multiply and you've got exactly the same effect. And you don't change this at all, unless you want to, of course. And uh, the reason for doing this is it saves space, both in memory and on disk, because you've only got the adjustment, which takes up much less space than a whole pixel layer. Now then, what else uh, you can do here is if we just set the volume control here to whatever we like, um, focusing on one area and we're focusing on the building and never mind about the rest. Because what I can do now is if I paint on uh, the mask here, the curve's got a built-in mask, and I take the paintbrush and turn the opacity down to uh, around 20%, something like that. Hardness, I'm going to set that to around about half and reduce the size of this. You can see the way this, as you look at this, it just lightens it a bit. So I'm going to paint over here to lighten this. Hold the mouse button down for each stroke, so each complete. Try and don't do a half a stroke because you'll have a problem getting it back. And then you can layer it up here into the areas that you want to lighten up. There you go. So, oh, what else? You can do this. You can actually paint directly on the picture. Tend not to do this, but you can do it. And this way you go to the paintbrush tool here and the blend mode you can set to multiply and do it here. And so I can reduce the size of the, the brush here and have a look at this. Is this a bit on the dark side? Eh, maybe turn this down to close to 10%. And I can paint over this here to sort of introduce a little bit of darkness into the picture. I can also go in here and if you've got straight line is click here, then shift click will draw you a straight line. So what else? Let's have a go at the skies. Skies are always a need multiplying often because they are a bit on the light side because they're it's lighter up there, closer to the sun and all that. So I'm going to go down here first and put in a pixel layer. Now I can go over here. That's better. Now I'm going to go to the gradient tool and on that pixel layer, I'm going to draw from the middle here all the way to the top and then put on a mult multiply mode for that. Eh, that's okay, but it, it, the, the color of the sky is not nice there. So I can play around with the darkness of this and the opacity and so on, but an easy way to do it is actually change the colour of that end. So make sure you've clicked on that end here and just go to whatever colour sky you like. And something like that. There we go. That'll do that nicely. So let's do something else and we will put a person in here. So. If we go to the stock picture here, for example, and just click here, search on person, and then look for one with a light background. And that one will do. Drag in here and drop it, and it'll come in pretty big. So control mouse wheel to get out, and then just shrink the thing right down and put it in the image there somewhere. And then control zero back in here. In fact, we can zoom into that a bit because what we're going to do with this is go back to the layers and multiply it. You can see the effect here. It's kind of darkened it. So it's, it's useful when you want to do that. Sometimes the darkened blend is better. 
but what we go to here is that's it the erase brush I think it's going to rub out this picture here particularly the darker areas so things like the rocks down below those definitely want to go out but when it's going to be a relatively small thing you don't have to be too careful with this because just it's just not noticeable so you can spend a bit of time on this if you like just sort of like bring it in but that'll do for now because I'm going to take the move tool here bring it down and shrink it right down I can actually as well come out here and drag him down here to scale him compared to the person there and so I get about the right perspective and then just drop him on top of the rock there and there we go a little bit of a visual interest and well what more oh let's just do one more thing I've got an idea which is we're going to put in a fill layer so we go to layer new fill layer this also illustrates something quite interesting because if I set this to red and then do a normal and multiply this is multiplying in, in the red picture like that you the red is, is one but green and blue are zero so when you're multiplying you multiply by one which means you're going to get one times whatever the reds are and each pixel so you get all the red pixels but the green and blue are zero so you multiply by zero so you've taken them out so what you've got here is exactly what's in the red channel which is kind of okay but you can then play around with it because you can then turn down the opacity you can also do masking and the effect here is effectively to amplify the reds and so or darken darken the reds isn't it so there we go you're bringing it back and change then the color whatever you want it to be you can tint it play with the opacity and get the final picture that suits there we go number of ways of playing with the multiply blend there are about seven things in there i think that's it anyway and thank you very much for watching